Good morning, friends and Toastmasters, dear guests. I feel privileged and proud to be delivering my CC10 project. Probably this is my life's second biggest achievement. The first achievement being that I am married now for 14 years. Yes, that's a big achievement, isn't it? <clears throat> well, uh, to tell you, falling in love is blind, but getting married is an eye-opener. The other day, I happened to visit a doctor with my wife, and he asked me, do you share the same blood group? I said, why not, doctor? We have been married for so long. She's been sucking all these years. That's, uh, that was on a light note. Now that I have your attention, I would like to talk about a topic that has always inspired me, that has always motivated me, took me to the next level, aroused me. The four letter F word in the English dictionary. Uh, before I do that, I would like you to travel to a memory lane of 1989 December when India was playing its test match cricket with Pakistan in Sialkot, Pakistan. And Pakistan bowlers were reducing the Indian cricketers. India was down 38 for 4. The top batsmen like Manjrekar, uh, uh, Manjrekar Azuruddin, Shrikant, they all were back in the pavilion. And then it was turn for a young lad, 16 years old, Sachin who walked down and joined Sidhu on the crease. Waka Yunus bowled a nasty bouncer and it hit smack on the face of Sachin. He started bleeding profusely. The physio ran down and he wanted to help Sachin, <clears throat> who was still bleeding. Navjot Sidhu ran from the opposite side to help him and he was bleeding too. At that moment, Navjot Siddhi, Siddhu suggested Sachin to go back to the pavilion, get his composer back, and by that time he hoped that the nasty ballers would have gone. The physio said, come along, I'll help you. Sachin was very annoyed and disappointed that he was asked to go back. He shouted back, said, and he said that, Main khelega. Main khelega. I will play. And these were the two words that changed the history of Indian cricket forever. That day, a star was born. A star was born who would change the cricket forever. A young lad was born who was confident and who was ready to not give up for any failure. Friends, I would like to share a story, an incident which happened with me last year. As I was traveling with my friends, we were on a holiday to Spain and we reached this beautiful city of Seville. It was the fifth day of our holiday and everything was picture perfect when my wife suggested that we should go for skydiving. At first I thought she was kidding because I had images of skydiving from a movie Zindagi na milega dubara. I thought she was really making fun of me. But when she insisted, I realized that she meant business. She had done the bookings, got the prior appointments done, and we were supposed to leave at 7 a.m. in the morning from our hotel. I looked up at her, hoping that how can a lady do this to me? a lady who has been fasting for my good health all these years, how is she wishing me to die? But she won't budge. That night was a horrible night for me. I kept tossing and turning around in my pillow. I kept staring at the ceiling. It was a miserable night, and I hoped that the morning never arrives. But the morning came, and I walked down the corridors of the hotel like a prisoner doomed to be hanged walks down the gallows. We reached the center, the aviation center that was almost 40 kilometers away from our hotel. The lady at the reception made a sign a bond which states 
that the aviation company is not liable for any accident or mishaps. I looked at the lady and I asked, what are the chances? She said, sir, accidents can always happen. It may happen one in a lakh times. The last time it happened three years back when the shoot did not happen, open. It may happen today as well. I gave my last innocent, docile look to my wife, hoping that she would melt, but it never happened. We went inside, we went for the briefing, we got the instructions, and I was ready, all dressed in the suit dress. I was looking like an astronaut about to take my final leap and discover the first landing. Friends, <clears throat> I was dressed. I was super nervous, but I didn't let it come obvious on my face because I didn't want to give that coward looking and stupid looking looks to my children. <coughs> we went inside the aircraft, it started going up and up and up and up till we reached 30,000 feet. Inside the aircraft, I was huddled to my instructor, I was tied with a belt to him, all ready. And I was smart and I was sitting in the last row, hoping that I would be the last one to go. There were lights inside the aircraft. There was a red light, the yellow light, and the green light. And I was waiting what would happen when the lights go green. As the lights turned green, they opened the doors. And I realized that for the first time ever, I was inside a freaking aircraft with the doors open. I went up with the instructor behind me till the edge of the aircraft and I looked down to death. And he said, sir, on the count of three. And he said, one, two, and he pushed me at two because you grab at three. And I was like, whoa. And I tell you friends, in that one second, it was the most freaking, the most blissful moment of my life. I jumped and for the next 20, 25, 30 seconds, it was blissful. It was amazing. And I realized that on the other side of fear is blissfulness. On the other side of fear is life's best. I was floating there. I was held up against the air and I was having the best times. I was moving around. I was looking at the skyscrapers and I was thinking, and the lesson that I learned was, why was I afraid the last night? Why didn't I enjoy my dinner? Why didn't I enjoy my breakfast? Why didn't I have a proper photo shoot with my gear? Friends, fear is an integral part of life. Fear is why the human species developed and human species are growing. It is said that a coward dies thousand times a brave man dies but once. Life will throw up challenges to you. Life will make you fall. You will fall and you will fall a thousand times. You will fall on your face. But remember to get up, pick up your pride, look into the mirror and say that yes, I will come back. Face the fear. People who have grown in life People we admire are not extraordinary people. They are people like us. It's just that they have used fear as a tool for growth and not as a crutch. So my ask to you is to go beyond your fear because that's where dreams become reality. And when you fall 100 times, get up 101th time, look into the mirror and say, Main khelega. Man, Kelly, our friends, over to you to a smile.